like before everyone wakes up the only one out here and JK the gym doesn't open until 6 so I have some time <laughs> chilly outside but like I'm dripping my sweat just from walking the promenade it is so hot which made sleeping unbearably uncomfortable but sitting here waiting for the gym to open seeing if my dad wakes up he does not have the internet so we're just messaging through the royal app which you do not get notified that someone messaged you you just have to like go in and look for it so I hope you would go in and look for it to see if any of us are up because he does usually get up early around this time, like four o'clock in the morning. Uh, but maybe he's, he's, we'll sleep in today. So I brought my book, read for a little bit, go to the gym, get that over with. Hopefully it won't be crowded because there's no one here. But I do want to see the sunrise, which I think he announced yesterday was 6.12. So I guess I have to be out there a little earlier for that. But it did look foggy, so don't know if I'll see it which I'll be upset about, uh, so we'll see. But I got a new book, very excited about it, and it is probably the most relaxing. It'll be here, because it's another she day, and there's not really um, many places to go because it is cold out, so the pools aren't as crowded as like it would be. Um, but I'm literally dripping. <laughs> Feels like they just put their on where I'm sitting, I feel it. <laughs> the gym has opened, so I think I'm going to do the sauna and then go watch the sunrise. So I do got some music. Not very loud, but some music. It is 6 a.m. Uh, very cloudy, of course. So, womp womp. Just don't think I'm seeing much. But, here we are. And everything's wet, so can't even sit anywhere. <laughs> uh, even the running track is like soaking wet, so can't run today. So we'll have to go to the gym. I did go in the sauna for like 10 minutes, and it was nice. It's empty, so obviously I was the only one in there, but it is uh, female only steam room and sauna, so that's nice. So I think I'm gonna go to Olive and Twist because you could sit down and look out, but I don't know if the windows will be fogged up and if I'll see anything. But truly, you can't see anything. <laughs> uh, watch this will be the one day I wake up early and it'll be the worst to see. <laughs> so I came up to 14 and have these nice windows, and there's no one here, and comfy couches, so. So for a few minutes, and then go to the gym. <sighs> Got my little workout in, and use the sauna. Most excited about the sauna. It is still free on the ship. A lot of the other ships, it's only in the spa. So I don't have a sauna 
anymore. I used to always use one. So I might go back in there like 10 more times today. Uh, I did the treadmill, but <laughs> we're rocking today. So I was kept bumping into the handrails. So I couldn't even run. I had to walk and I wasn't doing very good. <laughs> um, but we are rocking a bit. It is extremely foggy out. The horn goes off every minute. Uh, so the only good thing about that was I knew how long I was in the sauna for because I don't bring like my phone in there. So I was able to time it for 10 minutes. Uh, but I did see dad right as I was going into the gym. So he is in the promenade. I think we're gonna go to the wood jammer quickly to grab something light and then we're gonna have breakfast in a little bit. Uh, but maybe just like a croissant or something. Kinda get my money's worth. I don't ever eat. There it is. <laughs> I don't ever eat like this at home. So I am so full already and we haven't even been on the boat for 24 hours yet. But it's a short cruise so I'm going, going all out. All right, let's go. The fog has lifted, it's no more horn and breakfast time. Plate of bacon, sausage, hash brown. I don't know if I like eggs, so give this a try. <laughs> Chris and Bradley joined us. What'd you have for breakfast? Canada, day two, starting now. I've been up for three hours, if not more. What'd you have for breakfast? I've been up for four hours. Four hours. Banana, mm -hmm. eggs, waffle. Yeah, oh, and a waffle, yeah. And this one kept me up all night, so we're separating the beds today. <laughs> yeah. And I can just roll it onto the bed. You'll roll right off the bed. Why? <laughs> and Kristen got her Starbucks. Mm -hmm. and They're very fast. So that does come with the drink package she has. It's in the promenade. Um, but it's Starbucks. Even the cups are Starbucks. So. How was your breakfast? They come by me over here. I got my biscuit and gravy. I'm and then, happy. Uh, no. It was good. <laughs> All right, Bradley and Parr on their way to hide Wait, our ducks. All right, have fun hiding. We have to knock on the door. All right, we're in the schooner bar. We have 45 minutes until trivia. I'm ready. Who are the only ones here so I had, far? I had to get here early so I got a good seat and so I could fully get into the trivia mode and prepare. Wait, which, which trivia? It just says morning trivia, so it could be anything. But it is small here, so if you did want to see it, eh, kind of have to get here. But we'll see how crowded it is because it's still early. Breakfast wasn't that crowded, so people might be just going to breakfast. So we shall see. All right, Sudoku is in a few minutes. What? 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 Why are you vlogging me? What? What the? Why are you Double vlog. Yeah. He's getting ready. So I could I could retire. I could retire next year. Alright, I was not good at Sudoku. But trivia is why we were here. Here we are. <laughs> Twelve. One team, two team. Oh, two team. No, All right, we did pretty good. We got 11 out of 15. Here we go. Mom right, wanted Brazil for this one, this so team? she's upset. We would have gotten 12, team? and then we would have been in a tiebreaker right now. Womp we womp. We did good. We got 11 out of 15. Only two other groups got 12 in front of us, so we did really good. But we're heading up, up one deck to the Star Lounge for bingo. All right, first time in here. Star Lounge line. I don't even know if we'll find a seat. Green. But please, do not rip all right, so bingo is supposed to start in five minutes and it's still online. We all just doing it because of Bradley. So we all did, um, we paid ten dollars. We're gonna get a t shirt that I'm guessing they will bring it to us or we have to pick it up. I'm not really sure. And it came with six free cards. So we're gonna come back. So we're gonna come back to like play like the bigger packages because the show seats were literally standing here. Uh, we're just playing for Bradley and for ten bucks. You get six cards and a t-shirt. I'm guessing it's a very small prize for the youth, but we'll see. So if you want to play bingo, get here early because there is not that many seats and it took us a very long time to get through the line. The people in front of us took themselves like 10 minutes because the packages are pretty confusing, so like they're explaining everything. Uh, we just knew we wanted the t-shirt thing, it was $10, and we're gonna get a t-shirt out of it. So 
But the thing is, it's like a 45 minute game. Uh, and we are the last ones. I thought we would have been the first ones. So I think your, the t-shirts was like the lowest prize. So I thought they would like end with like the big prizes. But I think we're the last. Everybody say hello to. And please let's give up for your big old squad. We have it reminds me So we came and found us and this is our shirt. I can't tell what's blue or black, TV. but it's cute. High for ten dollars you got a t-shirt. So at least you're going home with something. And then you get the six cards. So do that. Alright, we did it win. But for ten bucks is good. And that winner of this game was over nine hundred dollars. Get a burger, Brad. Came in the main no, dining for lunch. Yeah. Here's the menu. You can get both. So Bradley got the mozzarella sticks, but no cheese pull. Yeah, they didn't really cook them. There you go, here's yeah. a picture. Look, I fixed it. But are they good? I took a bite and put it under. <laughs> got the yeah. steak fruits. Lunch was super good. I got the steak frites and I didn't think I was gonna like it at first. It kind of looked a little interesting. The sauce was very like bright yellowy color, but it was good. It's exactly like I liked it, but they don't have the fries, truffle fries. They were just steak fries. So I was expecting like Parmesan truffle fries, which usually does come with it. So I was taking back at first, cause usually the steak frites is like when I order it, cut up already and on top of the fries with the sauce. So it was a little different, but it was very good. I had to get a little nauseous when we were just sat down as we were walking in. I had a headache, a little nauseous. Uh, so don't know what hit me, but still, I think the fog, I think the horn keeps going off. I came back to the room to take a nap after lunch. Um, I hear the horn right now. Uh, not loud like in your room, but you could like hear it. I had my earplugs in, so I didn't hear it while sleeping. Uh, so I haven't even been, like, on the pool deck. So I might run either now or after, but we have our show. Show is at 2.30. It's about 1.40. So, uh, opens at 1.45 for, uh, to be seated. And I expect it to get crowded. So I think today's the only day it's showing and there's a 2.30 and 8, so I'm gonna go now. So don't know if everyone plans on doing it, so hopefully we find a seat and we'll see how the show is. Alright, Saturday Night Fever is about to start. enjoyed the show it was long again it's really an hour and a half which feels long on like a cruise when there's like things to do so but it was like PG's music with the original story Kristen's never seen the movie so she was like that was a weird story but it wasn't that like that's the story of the movie <laughs> it's just about them trying to win a dance competition um, so I liked it. I like PG's music so I like music, the dance was fantastic, the uh, Puerto Rican couple for the dance contest were absolutely amazing, killing it the entire time. I really loved the girl who played Annette and uh, the guy who played Bobby. Those are my top, top people, they were fantastic. Everyone was fantastic but those are my standouts. Um, then I went, it was a little after 4 when it ended, so Windjammers closed, it closed from 3 to 6 which like lame because I wasn't feeling great or before so I didn't really eat much so I just wanted like a few nuggets maybe um so I was like oh I'll go to the ice cream parlor not ice cream parlor just the ice cream place by the pool didn't have chocolate so I literally walked from floor deck 3 to deck 11 because the elevator the show just got out so I walked all the way up there and there's no ice cream and when was close so I was bummed about that then I went back down to five, uh, but Sorrento's was mobbed. The line was around the corner because it is cold out and the pools are closed. The hot tubs, a few of the hot tubs are open. So there's a few people there, but no one's sitting on deck. 
the pools are all closed. I don't think it's that bad. Um, certain areas are windier than others. The solarium's fine because the walls are blocking it. So, like, if I had my sweatshirt on, um, it'd be a little chilly, but, like, I would sit out there. But, like, literally not a soul is out there. So, everyone is in the promenade. So, it's very crowded. So, it's about 4.20ish. We have dinner at 5.30. It is dressed to impress. We technically don't have a formal night, so we don't get a lobster. Which, you should just get it, no matter how short the sailing is. I don't eat lobster, so I don't really care. But, like, the family wanted it. So, that's kind of a bummer. And the only thing I eat on the menu today was steak, which I had for lunch. And I'll probably be getting again multiple times on this trip. So, my plan is just to get the French onion soup and a Caesar salad, which are both appetizers. And then I'll go for chicken nuggets at the wind jammer later. So, I'm going to get ready. I'm not going to go crazy, uh, light makeup. And just... That's about it. So... Just taking it easy in the room right now, and we'll see you at dinner. Thank you for the accommodation. Take your time. I will be back. So, Thank you. Back and cheese. I'm to tell her to take. Starting with oh, the onion soup. Here, me too. Ready? Here we go. One, two. All right. Alright, I'm trying, but I am going to put on some bread. I have a little piece. Um, how do we zoom in? Let's see. You don't need to. No, you're good. You're good like that. How is it for your second time eating it? Better than the first. I don't even... It melts in your mouth. It does melt. Yeah. So just... Really I scale like, 1 to 10. Um, slow. So I'd say a 9. Whoa! Okay, it just what... tastes like garlic and butter. What... What was your first time trying it? I would say a six. It was a little slimy the first time. Yeah, they must have. No, maybe a lot of people changed it. Because a lot of people didn't like it. It's pretty good. Pretty good, actually. So I got a uh, Caesar salad and I got like a dinner portion. And he gave me the chicken nuggets on top. And it's the good chicken nuggets today. Woohoo! What is this? Seafood linguine and it has shrimp, uh, scallops, mussels. <laughs> oh, a lot of stuff. Yeah. Nice portion. Yeah. Wouldn't it be good? Mom and Dad got, got the yeah. tenderloin. A tenderloin. Beef tenderloin. And yeah. And he, he wanted to yes. have the beef tenderloin. Yes, but our waiter said it's not good. You shouldn't get it. And he I tried it and he was right. <laughs> Beef is very tough. This is good. This is good. It is dress your best night, aka formal but not formal. So we are dressed up. Um, it's a little bit more people dressed up tonight, but still some not at all. So you can really do whatever you're, you're comfortable with. There's a guy in an awesome cowboy hat. Yeah, he looks fantastic. I love it. Uh, I didn't really like anything for dinner tonight, so I just did the soup and a salad, and it was good. I'm gonna go to the Windjammer in a little bit. I liked my meal, everything came out great. Um, so, so far we're two for two. You know, it's really funny that if we were at home on land, and the soup and a salad would be a meal. Oh yeah. You wouldn't go for a second dinner. No. But now you're going to I want my money's worth. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> Not succeeding, but I'm trying. How was your meal? Person. How was your meal? It was good. The seafood linguine, I'd say it's on par with like Olive Garden. Ooh. All right. It, it was it was hot. So. Yeah, and service is um it's six o'clock. No, it's seven o'clock. Time difference. So it took us an hour and a half. Okay, appetizers, drinks, meals, and dessert. So if you didn't get dessert, you could chase on time off, but I would say expect to be here for an hour and a half, which is a normal dinner length. Keep it going. Yeah. Oh, I can't see you down there. Get a Waiting for a name that tune, and I went to the windjammer and got us a meat and cheese board and lots of bread. Oh,
it like that, ladies and gentlemen. If you got what it takes, stand up and I will pitch you around. Hey, you have a good time. Yay! Absolutely wrong. <laughs> Wrong. Good try, but the correct lyric is I ain't got no cigarettes. It's a disco party. We're kind of seeing the back, but on the bridge they have the dancers out. And everyone's dancing. There's grandma. Right there. Oh, no. Look, they're waving at us though. Were they waving? Yeah, they were. Now they stopped. I can see them. But they were waving at you. I know. What? Some people are dressed up, I would say not a lot. Because technically they didn't tell us about this. It's just if you looked at the cruise compass, you saw like there's seventies dance party at this time. There wasn't really themed nights that we were given, like usually it's like 70s, white party, um, so we didn't really get that. So there are a few people dressed up though, but it was also formal night, so you would have needed two outfits. But it is crowded because once again, it's freezing outside, so everyone is literally, and there's nothing to do right now except this, so everyone is right there. <laughs> and just like that, another day has come to an end. Uh, head into bed. I have been up since like 4 a.m. I am exhausted. Uh, even with my nap midday. Tired. Uh, right now it's just uh, for the rest of the night is just like dancing. That's not my jam. So head into bed. We do go to Canada tomorrow, but it's supposed to be like a high of 50 and rain the entire time. So I don't even know if I'm getting off. See what time I wake up. Um but I might just hang here. Um, there's not sadly much that you could do because it's so cold, so can't do the pool deck. Like that's usually when I like to sit by the pool and I really did want to do the water slides, but it is a high 50, like so it's cold. So can't even do that. Maybe if it's not crowded, I'll attempt the hot tub, but it's so cold on the deck. So I don't know. Uh, just we'll see what time we wake up, but did a lot of random little shows, the trivia, and uh, Saturday Night Fever. I liked Saturday Night Fever. Uh, it was a little long. I liked my people that I said, but it was good. Like, you're coming to a boat to do things, so gotta go see the entertainment. And like, like now, promenade they're all dancing like that's not that's not my thing i'd rather do the shows and the trivia and the games so we'll see what we can find tomorrow dinner was delicious as always and we also did the main dining for lunch and that was really good uh the steak for lunch i really liked the sauce and that was a lot less like i'm the wind jammer was probably a madhouse because we were nowhere to go besides those two places it was a sea day and everyone was probably just looking to do something so the wind jammer was probably crowded because it wasn't crowded on the main dining uh as we were leaving there was a bit of a line but there's still tables so check that out because the steak was really good uh and wind jammer like i can't do the main dining on port days so we'll do the wind jammer for lunch tomorrow and dinner was good. We've had no issues with temperature food. The speed of service is an hour and a half. You're waiting for your typical amount of time in between courses. It's not like you're waiting a crazy amount of time. So we've had no issues. We like everything. Uh, see what the next two menus bring us. And with that, I say good night, everyone.